welcome back to the Stardom Show here. We have a very special guest with us today, Anil Shetty from Bangalore. I'm right now in Bangalore, Bengaluru to be very uh, correct, politically correct, Bengaluru in India. And we have a very special person, Anil Shetty with us. And he has a great message to share. And he is a time investor and a social entrepreneur. Like, he has done a lot of things that you guys will find very, very interesting. Welcome to the show, Anil. Okay, nice you. to have you. Thank you. Pleasure. So let's start with uh, what's the most important thing that you are doing right now? What is? It? What well, I uh, I think uh, now I am on a sabbatical. Okay. So this is my third sabbatical in life. Uh -huh. So first one was around uh, for nine months. Second one was just about about uh, four months. Now I'm on a three month sabbatical. There's a reason for sabbatical because uh, uh, for the last four years I spent in public life. Uh -huh. and a uh, large amount of time working with the different kind of people from driver community to police constables to uh, scavengers to sanitation workers all these people and in the social field and uh, I had my own NGOs running and uh, now I took a break for a reason that uh, I realized that there is one part of the uh, current in, the, in a democracy there's an important part was missing uh -huh. So, and I want to, I, I, like, I would say that uh, I'm coming up with a political startup. Political startup, so, that's interesting. Uh, Especially just in a big country, like big yeah. democracy like India, this is very interesting. I never spoken yeah. to anybody who is uh, interested in a political startup. Yeah. Like so India. I call it as a political startup and uh, parallelly I'm writing my second book. So yes. this, uh, this uh, sabbatical is to, uh, it's like before you take a long journey, you actually prepare for everything. No, you will spend some time doing packing, doing all those stuff and everything. Right. So it's a, a time where I'm actually uh, ideating things and building uh, all the connects and uh, mm -hmm. making sure that building the ideology and uh, before we take on the uh, bigger step and go on for a long. So this is this has been a month now. So okay. and uh, I, I just uh, have another two months, more months to go. I'm um, hopefully that my political startup will be launched on August 15th. That's which a is very interesting day. That, Independence Day. Right? Yeah, Independence Day. Yes, so Independence Day. So that's what I'll, I'm hoping to launch on that day. Amazing, uh, amazing. So Great to know that. So how did it all start? Like, let's start with uh, a, a transformational event that may have happened in your life. Like, how, how did that uh, I actually call it as, uh, my mom said um, the worst thing happened to her life. Really? So oh, okay. this is journey of an uncompromising entrepreneur because uh, that was the I think probably there was a trigger. Mm -hmm. So I not only wanted my mom to be proud, accept me, but also want to make sure that millions and millions of other mothers mm -hmm. accept me as their son. So I was a little greedy fellow. I wanted a more mothers. I wanted more love from the world, and uh, I, I for the period of time. Uh, it was a day when I was uh, given a Bhagavad Gita book in my hand mm -hmm. and that probably has transformed my life to a great extent and it has taught me a different thing because when I was sitting in a flight one day reading a Bhagavad Gita, somebody asked me, are you going to be a monk? Mm -hmm. I said, uh, where in Gita I ever said it's uh, you are supposed to be a monk? Arjuna yeah. was a warrior and he didn't want to fight and Krishna said you have to fight. So he remained a warrior, he didn't go to Himalaya, he didn't become a monk. So he just performed his duty. Exactly. So that was that was where I realized that even the uh, your uh, karmanya vadi karas it comes from a Gita. It's a Gita exactly. Upadesh. Exactly. So I realized that uh, you have to be here uh -huh. because at 22 I wanted to go to Himalaya. So really? I oh, wanted wow. uh -huh. not to come back. So then when I was when somebody placed me this book in my hand and said just read this and then decide whether you really want to be here or want to go. Uh -huh. Then I realized that Arjuna always. Uh, Arjuna fought in spite of after hearing Bhagavad Gita he fought and uh, he performed his duty so that's where you I realized that I have to perform my duty rather right. than just running away from the, this one so that was a triggering find, point for all of this uh -huh. so today whatever you are seeing me as a person uh -huh. and uh, interestingly the Gita is the only uh, the only spiritual book I read so far oh, I so because I, am, I don't believe in reading hundreds of things I believe in implementing what you read uh -huh. So whenever I have a question, I go back to Gita. Why I'm stressing on Gita is that that's a book. If you ask me which the book which transformed my life, mm -hmm. that's a book which transformed my life is a Bhagavad Gita. Amazing. So from there it all started. 
and uh, then i had uh, i i briefly spent a little time with the uh, akshay patra foundation one of the world's largest mid day meal uh, program mm-hmm. so probably by seeing those children by working with those missionaries and i realized that it's not just about you being happy mm-hmm. i always i make the statement often that i prefer greatness over happiness mm-hmm. happiness is all about you right about yourself about how you want to make yourself happy and all about you Correct. but greatness is about others because if you want to achieve a greatness you have to do great things even if you have to compromise your own happiness okay. if you have to sacrifice your own comfort so that's why i always say that greatness is what everyone has to endure for not just happiness Amazing. and from there the journey started so i uh, in fact i founded a, a company co-founded a company in uh, mumbai mm-hmm. it's called fly with vip we auction seat next to a celebrity in the flight Oh, and we raise money for the charity uh-huh. so uh, sir amita bachchan launched the project uh, uh, the la- uh, the last year and uh, we had deepika padukone was the last one to fly uh-huh. we raised uh, money for the charity uh-huh. and uh, since then since the book since that day the i wanted to take a uh, leap into the social sector right. since that day everything most of the thing i did even on the business side also i always thought about people and uh, realize that you have to include people when you even think of a social enterprise Absolutely. and that's how the so, so properly people today identify me as a social entrepreneur right. uh, than being called as a startup uh, guy because even though i involve in the lot of startup so which is in a food tech or somebody something in a security documentation i have couple of startup that's why i got a new uh, tag uh, line called time investor the new oh, terminology yeah. the time investor is something where basically you have in the startup world angel investors they put in the money correct so what i do is that i actually spend a time with the founders when they are in idea stage or they just started mm-hmm. i get them the strategic investors i spend a time up to one year in that company mm-hmm. and i hold a, a sweat equity in the company and i hold a monthly evaluation and i will be with the company for a year until it goes to series a and series b once it's stabilized i move on to the next one mm-hmm. so like that i have uh, six companies on uh, board Oh, so wonderful. and i want to make it 10 12 and uh, probably write a book called time investor because i realized that your time has a value so Absolutely. if you can monetize Absolutely. your time exactly so yeah. it's just not about money the time has a value time is money so that's how the my journey into the startup world happened mm-hmm. and uh, when i uh, when pro, uh, i was uh, 25 i took an uh, another sabbatical for 3 4 months mm-hmm. and because i was in mumbai for a while right. for 2 years i was in mumbai and uh, even though i was doing business even though i was doing everything so drive was something else mm-hmm. it was something different right. so it was not the money it was not the fame it was not everything it was a uh, probably somebody if you ask me what is my uh, end goal so i always say that i want to see a day when millions of people attend my funeral it's a weird dream mm. so the last why because you can have millions of people coming to your funeral only when you make a difference to millions of lives when you are alive absolutely so i have to count number of people thing so that has to increase mm-hmm. so that's see th- when when you are in that sector you i met an ama- some of the amazing individuals who have been doing greatest of the work to the humanity but some of them are not known some of them are known and uh, there's a learning from some of the people which is which is just priceless Exactly. so i am blessed because i believe in a, a universal connect i believe that positivity can attract positivity and uh, if you are uh, if you have such kind of people around and you will feel that blessed because Absolutely. i always uh, now my I, uh, my mom says that i i thought today you have so many mothers and uh, i thought you were a nirasan fell son but i <laughs> never realized that you will become a son to so many people mm-hmm. and uh, today i i i work uh, uh, closely with the auto drivers community i think i realized that for them their dream is shattered because they just don't can't do anything else and uh, they have limited knowledge uh, they have limited resources they have limitations of the dream also because they thought that for a long when your dream is not uh, mm-hmm. materializes then you give up on that Correct. but their dream is in the children mm. they put all their uh, dream in their children their and children. they want okay. their children to do well that's why we started focusing on them we started building scholarship program for those mm-hmm. children 
and I think we are the first people who took the uh, constables, auto drivers, and uh, scavengers, sanitation workers to a five-star hotel. Every right. year we do a award show for them, like a film award. Wonderful. So first of its kind where you will have all the film stars in the second row, ministers in the second row, and you'll have these people in the first row. And yeah. it's like two people, one minister, one film star will be called on the stage, then this guy will come and receive an award. Right. So it's exactly like a film uh, award format. Wonderful. And uh, they, they, for them, it's an Oscar. Exactly, so yeah. because uh, there uh, for I, I, when I uh, when we did the last uh, program mm -hmm. uh, for the scavengers and the sanitation workers and the cleaners mm -hmm. and uh, I met one uh, lady who won the award so I asked her uh, she, she just she just said I just bless you my son because 60 I'm 60 now last 40 years I have been cleaning the city and mm -hmm. nobody identified me True. nobody recognized me and today, I come in a paper, and all the celebrities are there here to actually uh, honor me. Mm -hmm. And what I, I think all the 40 years of my effort, this one day, I, it just culminated into giving me the most joy, joyous day of my life. Fulfillment. And I thought that, I think that her response to that and the way she blessed me, mm -hmm. I realized that there's nothing, there's, there's nothing beyond a human beyond love. Bigger than that. The yeah. human love. So because I feel that uh, the moment you start enjoying that moment, there you will find the purpose. True. So that's where the whole idea of, uh, uh, in, in fact, uh, we have all this uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Valentine's Day, everything. Yeah. I started giving the auto rickshaw driver's day, bus driver's day. Mm -hmm. So like that, we started collecting them. We started making a festival for them. Right. And because I feel that the largely in our, in our country, we have an issue with the dignity of the labor. Mm -hmm. So, so many labors and uh, uh, labor class on the bottom of the pyramid are not respected. Absolutely. And uh, we need to understand that this country is not built by film stars, not built by politicians, not built by businessmen. It country is built by labors. True. They built this country and they have equal share in this country. Absolutely. And uh, I don't want to accept a fact that we have a two country where is one is a rich country and the one is a poor country. So we don't want two country here. We want only one country that is India, which treats everybody equal and which is which gives everybody an equal opportunity. Mm -hmm. And we believe in an inclusive society because if you don't have an inclusive society, if the gap widens, mm -hmm. it's dangerous for the future. True. And uh, I, it's, it's that the opportunity, see, I, I'm not a social, uh, like, uh, I don't call myself a communist or a socialist ideology. I, if somebody asks me, I'm a socialist to an extent of providing a level playing field, mm -hmm. providing equal opportunity, providing basics of education, food, healthcare, the thing. Rest, leave it to their talent. I'm a capitalist to an extent of, the capitalist with a compassionate heart. Mm -hmm. So you should, has, every capitalist should have a compassionate heart. Absolutely. And uh, that's where the country can progress. And obviously, you, we, we have to respect the talents, we have to think. And I don't want to get into the idea of reservation in our country because it's a debatable topic altogether. <laughs> but what I'd like to see is that create an equal opportunity. Exactly. And uh, to that extent, I, uh, I strongly believe that somewhere we need a kind of a society where we know that it's not, it's, I can build a million dollar house but I won't be able to go out of the house if the same guy who is cleaning up every day, he, he disappears from that place. Sure. How will I go? Will I go and clean that? No. So we can. So then we need to know that they are very important people. Absolutely. So ignoring them will be our foolishness. Right. So there is an, uh, I was just uh, narrating a story to somebody, like just giving a uh, brief about uh, how a simplicity and uh, uh, why uh, we should hire more people uh -huh. uh, to do our job. Mm -hmm. So, like I always say that I have driver, I have a, uh, people to clean up the house, I have people to clean up the office, I have somebody to carry my laptop, I have, I have so many people working with me. Okay. So then people say, how can you be simple? So my idea of simplicity is this, that look, by hiring all of these people, I have created a job for all these people. And if I don't give them the job, if I do all my work on my own, I would save, uh, save five, six lakh rupees in a year. Instead of going to out of station and spending in a holiday, mm -hmm. I rather distribute uh, one one lakh to these people every year, mm -hmm. 
mm. with a 10,000, 10,000 per month uh, salary or 20,000 per month salary, so right. that they educate their children. Because in India, we are, we are, we have a scarcity of the job, not the human resource. Exactly. So maybe in your state it's different. You may not be able to afford because scarcity of the human resource. But yeah. in our country, there's a scarcity of the job. Yeah, so instead of putting up the simplicity of saying that I'll drive a uh, 50, uh, $100,000 uh, $100, car, but I will not have a driver because mm. that is my simplicity that I will only drive. This is this is the kind of a thing has to change in our con country. And obviously the thing is that we are very proud. We are the country which gave the Vasudaiva Kutumbakam. So the the world is a family, is the greatest world uh, the greatest yeah. idea to the humanity is given by our Varian culture. And we are not a chaotic country, we are a diversified country. True. We do have uh, differences, but we negotiate and move forward. Right. And we have moved forward. And uh, we have moved out of that time of evolu revolution. Mm -hmm. We are in an evolving state. We are in an evolution now. We keep evolving because if you see, the, we are the largest uh, uh, consumer of mobile, internet and mobile uh, the equipment, technology, yeah. technology, correct? So we are evolving. We will take our own time. So we are we are very fast in adapting technology, and uh, why I'm taking from my personal things to a idea of country and everything that I always believe that uh, it's it's not always about individual because Indians can do well, but India should do well. Oh. I know Indians are doing well across the world, but we want India to do well. Exactly. And for that to happen, we have to have an inclusive society. Every everyone gets together. So one of the idea of our uh, my political startup is to make sure that every Indian understands what democracy is. Mm -hmm. In our country, the unfortunate thing is that some of us know somebody in states or somebody in UK, somebody some in mother country, or yeah. something about them we know, mm -hmm. but we don't even know our own neighbor. We don't right. even know our own uh, uh, elected representative in the political system. We know why the Brexit happened, all the whole thing. <laughs> if you ask our uh, current generation, the, the educated guys, right. they will talk 100 things about Brexit. But they don't even know who is their next corporator, who is their next uh, mayor, who is their uh, MLA. They don't know anything. Mm. They don't know about any elected representatives. They still say that, okay, uh, uh, our politics is like that. So we want to change that and we want to bring the participative democracy. We want people to understand that in a democracy, we are the people who are the producers and the directors and a politician is neither a hero or a villain, he is a lead actor. We should make sure that every five years we actually select the best performing artist. Right. We put him there so that our movie of movie called India will perform well in the global scenario. Right. So that's the whole idea of why we want to start a new political startup to take the democracy to every individual, make them participate in the process, right. electoral democracy and uh, select the best leader. So we don't live in a royalty, we live in a democracy. And we don't want a uh, leader to come to rule us, they, we want them to uh, serve us, we want them to take up our responsibility. And when we say we want them to, I want one of us to become that them. So one of us to become that uh, political leader. So this a newer generation has to take that uh, lead and obviously we, we want to go uh, to the every nook and corner of the country but we start with small because it always starts small so we want to start from Bangalore so right. BPAC is one of the initiative if you know the Kiran Majumdash and Mohan Daspai are the two big names in the corporate world in uh, India yeah. and they started the idea of BPAC Bangalore Political Action Committee mm -hmm. so we work on the civic issues and we train civic leaders right. and uh, we endorse political candidate when mm -hmm. they uh, contest uh, election and uh, we, our idea is to make sure that citizens get engaged in the uh, decision making, in the uh, whether it's a uh, corporation level, uh, citizens get engaged. Right. And uh, I, I'm, I have spent almost two years in uh, BPAC. It's an honorary uh, oh, board member okay. position, and worked with a lot of civic leaders. Some of them have contested the election, mm -hmm. and uh, we, uh, in, in, we have a, a philosophy that. Whatever you want to do, you show it in a small, you demonstrate in a small place that this can be done. You have and to do a pilot. Up, yeah. So th then scale up. So Bangalore is the place where we have we have close to 10 million people live here. Uh -huh. It's a cosmopolitan city. It's a world city, and uh, we are a growing growing city. And 60% uh, of the Karnataka is uh, Bangalore, 
and we are the we produce the huge gdp and the highest uh, software exporters uh, uh, right. in the, uh, in the country yeah. and now with all of this i know we have a problem with infrastructure we have everything but where we lack is the creating a good leaders good political leaders mm. so we want to uh, connect that dot make sure that we uh, build in the best leaders and for the future and it's a process it takes its own time so bpac has been existing for last two and a half years and we've done exceptionally well we believe that we've done exceptionally well with the support of the citizens and uh, now now i'm starting a new uh, entity called g2 good governance uh -huh. and uh, the tagline called independent political campaigners uh -huh. so our idea is to uh, give seven years of time there are two elections seven years 224 constituencies uh -huh. 112000 campaigners uh for, and uh, 7.5 million man hours of investment and 7 million dollars of investment and uh, we would like to change the political narrative of the karnataka state and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a it's a big dream it's yeah. a big dream and we believe it can happen so Definitely, the yeah. uh, we have a strong so faith talking of dreams like if uh, there is only one problem in this world that you can solve what would that be just one problem uh i think uh, one problem in the world that should be solved world is too big a place for me Let's to even india. think uh, in india is also again a big thing <laughs> and uh, i would say that uh, as as we are saying that uh, right. we would like to uh, focus only on the political space mm -hmm. and uh, only to make sure that we build a political leaders the good political leaders for the future to uh, for the coming generation to see that okay our political system has changed because that is the only problem india has today right if there is one problem in this country that's a political issue uh -huh. and we want to solve that and stick to that because i have a i have i've just have what i am already 29 uh -huh. and i have another uh, 30 years that's the average age of 31 year that's the average age is 60 60 uh -huh. and in 31 years i think i want to focus on one problem right. that is politics uh, when it comes to world i could probably tell it in my uh, what you call a fancy dream uh -huh. that i would like to have a word i know there's a uh, there's a uh, no scarcity of the resources but i know the distribution is very bad mm. and uh, i would like you went to become much stronger right and uh, united nations should play a much larger role mm -hmm. and you should not uh, actually uh, confine to certain few countries few this one and uh, i want them to have a large say in the world uh, environment whether it is uh, climate change whether it is wars and everything so they should also keep the they should not act on uh, some 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 countries uh, fancies so i don't want to name the country but they should have that uh, uh, strong uh, power mm -hmm. so i think only one thing which i would like to say that uh, uh, un should become stronger right so if uh, let's say uh, let's get back to your personal uh, thing that you are doing like your journey when you look back what is one best decision that you have ever made i think the one best decision i ever made is that i gave up on myself mm -hmm. i said i realized that it's not about you mm. it's not about me it's just not about me so the day i realized that the the i i the biggest decision i took is that anil this is not about you mm -hmm. if it's about you i don't think it's worth for you to live here mm. so it's not about you it's about millions and millions of people i don't want to be happy in a place where all are sad which doesn't make sense, make sense of course yeah. make sense. so i i i am a strong uh, 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 propagator of uh, detachment i believe that uh, you you should be detached Mm -hmm. from material things and uh, it should grow beyond uh, existence and uh, i always go with the strong statement that we are not human beings having spiritual experience we are spiritual beings having human experience right. and uh, the moment you understand that statement the world looks different and uh, nothing is permanent in this world absolutely and yeah. uh, all at everyone has their own journey to make and they will get down in their stop you have to get down in another stop which whoever it is whatever it is how much or close it is close you may be and uh, that's where i realized that detached you have to be detached from the things and there's a uh, saying that 
the is the happiness and uh, sorrow is like a winter and a summer mm. it keeps coming and keeps going, going so you should not be uh, disturbed by that Correct. and uh, and we all i have a strong belief that uh, life is not by an accident if life is by an accident uh, world is a hospital because you end up <laughs> in a hospital and uh, nobody wants to be in a hospital it's a place of suffering right you Correct. suffer so maybe some but you might have an counter view said they might say that it's a place of feeling i don't know whether you have to be, uh, even though it's a place of feeling nobody wants to be in a hospital definitely so yeah. i strongly believe that life has a purpose so i don't believe in just eating mating sleeping defending so it has a much higher purpose True. so one at one one has to pull, uh, you have to genuinely seek the answers to those questions which comes in everyone's mind and you need to have a genuinity in seeking so that's why i call myself as student of universal knowledge uh-huh. and uh, those that those knowledge will be revealed to you when you are a genuine seeker and uh, all the things what you see i whatever i act in the material world is just a details of your existence and the larger mission larger goal is something different uh-huh. and uh, it's not that i if you ask me what i want to become in life i don't know because uh, i only know what i want to do in my life so what i want to ask you is mm. that people know you when they look up anil shetty on the internet most people uh, perceive you as a person who has started movements like so how do how do you uh, start and sustain movements like if anyone wants to start their own movement how do they start how do they think through it and how do they sustain because most movements they don't sustain, sustain. they start and they fall i keep saying this to uh, people that don't make people part of your plan first make them part of your dream mm-hmm. if you don't make them part of your dream they cannot become part of your plan so first you have to put a such a dream and you have to tell them that this dream will take its own time to materialize yeah. and they have to believe in you and you have to have that passion perseverance patience to keep moving irrespective mm-hmm. of all the obstacles right What, then what happens is that slowly one by one one by one will have a faith correct that today probably after so many years of efforts in the social sector if i say something that okay i'll do this at least some people tend to believe that yes he can do it because look at the way it has happened in the past mm. but when you are a new person people don't trust you right and they're not wrong they're not wrong correct it's difficult to for anyone to put trust on you because why should i absolutely correct yeah. so you have to prove that you are a trustworthy guy uh-huh. you have to prove that you have certain uh, ideas you have certain capability to, uh, to bring the change uh-huh. and you need a media validation True. first you have to validate yourself yourself yeah that so many times this dilemma will be there am i doing the right thing is it is it is it possible to do this self doubt correct self doubt correct yeah. so one you have to have your own validation and conviction so the people want to believe things but they will believe those who have that conviction exactly and, and speaking of ideas like you just told i you have come up with so many ideas like how do you generate ideas observation <laughs> okay so to keep observing the things mm mm-hmm. so and uh, there is a silence within mm mm-hmm. so basically uh, i go on a silence within and right. uh, i realized that it's it's a it's an ability to problem solving some of the ideas are like your ability to solve the problem hmm. so uh, when i want to k- come up with some idea i sit a, i sit and keep watching the things keep dreaming lot of things and uh, then i there's if i have if i identify a problem so i might dream of so many ways and to solve it but i know that there is one or two method works so you meant to say it's observing on the outside and dreaming from the inside inside observing the outside and within silence within mm-hmm. because we talk a lot we talk a lot exactly. i think we have to become silent within and uh, you should give that time Correct. the idea so idea is just a commodity execution brings currency true so it has no value so your idea to become uh, uh, come to the uh, execution level it need, takes its own time mm. and you have to have that much of patience mm. 
that much of brainstorming and you have to have whatever you say you have to have that conviction see execution method might change but you should know this is the end goal i want to achieve right and this is my idea of problem solving but i might change a method here there a right. tweaking is fine okay but i will largely make sure that people will trust because if you keep changing then they're like no it's not going to work right so but you are the end goal your uh, uh, method might change a little here and there uh-huh. you will be able to convince people over the period of time but they should also know that you have knowledge mm. so there's no com- there's no second thought about knowledge you should have a substance Correct. without a substance nobody is going to be with you Correct. so nobody and wants to ride on the fool's back speaking of uh, generating ideas and sustaining them and about applying them to the movements like people know you for starting and running movements Uh, of all the things that you accomplished so far are there any sacrifices that you have made uh till the age of 29 i'm i turned 29 this year okay i've not taken a holiday oh those are that sabbatical are those things for ideation mm-hmm. for finding a new path okay. otherwise i don't take a holiday there's no saturday sunday mm-hmm. and uh, there's no timing Right. So all the 24 bars are available and uh, I probably meet my parents once in a year. Mm-hmm. I talk to them once in a month and my I have I don't I have never been to my brother house so far. Mm-hmm. It's only a phone call and once in a while he comes. And I don't know where my relatives stay. Right. So there's nothing absolutely and uh, all that I know is that morning get up, get to your work. and you are you are on the uh, on move the, like on, the on the move so there is nothing else and i have not done any uh, trips without reason i have not gone to any place in my life mm-hmm. never so there's no holiday has such where you take a vacation and go there's nothing right. so that doesn't uh, mean that you enjoy your work life that that's see that's, that's why i said you that i said i said that whether i enjoy or not whether uh, i am happy or not it just doesn't matter okay for me it just doesn't matter mm. because i am not looking at enjoyment or happiness from a material perspective uh-huh. so deep within i am a spiritualist uh-huh. and i have a very deep connect to the world right. the universe and it just doesn't matter uh-huh. it just doesn't matter uh-huh. and i have largely i have a uh, i wouldn't say like i am detached from everything because that will be a big statement and uh, it will not be believed by anybody so uh-huh. i do have an attachment so because I'm very happy when I stand in front of so many mothers who will come and tell me you are like a son mm. so because of you my daughter got an admission or we paid the thing mm-hmm. I think that is the that is the most joyful uh, time of my life and when you stand in front of thousands of people who are just waiting to hear you mm-hmm. because they thought that you are their inspiration I think that is a moment I enjoy and uh, other time is that uh, I just don't blame anybody for anything. It's just right. that their own. Uh, everyone is a hero in their own movie. Absolutely. So only the script may not be accepted <laughs> by the uh, society all the time. Right. So I know you have dealt with uh, social startups. I mean, with the social causes, and you're also into uh, running your own company and business uh, world as well. And you have also started and sustained movement. Like, what's your three pieces of advice for youngsters, like people like? the college people who are just out of college or just out of studying like they want to do something they don't know like uh, they are looking for a job or they are looking for start their own business or do something become a contributor what would be your three pieces of advice that you want to give to the youngsters the young community of india i think one is a discipline discipline uh value the time time okay have faith discipline time and faith faith so three things and uh, i always talk about uh, uh, fear mm-hmm. that uh, i i many a time lot of us have a fear of unknown right that we fear something we don't know what we fear mm-hmm. so and it, that's not a good thing having fear of unknown exactly and uh, adventurous because i always say that i don't do any adventure sports because life itself is an adventure so i don't need any other kick yeah, yeah, when you are <laughs> I, i don't need Some any other i don't need to do a drug to get a kick 
I don't need to uh, smoke or do anything. I'm not blaming anybody, everyone's choice in life. And uh, I, because I always make sure that uh, three things I don't speak. Mm -hmm. I don't comment on any individual. One, what you eat. Mm -hmm. So long it's within the constitutional uh, uh, sanction. Second, whom you worship. You can worship anybody you want. Third, whom you sleep with. So you can, within the four walls, you will be the anyone. These are three things very private to individual. I think it should be that much of liberty one should have. Yeah. Should not take yeah, away that like liberty that. from anybody. So, but to the youngsters, that the moment you probably discipline your uh, lifestyle, mm -hmm. and they say that I want to be myself. Yeah, you want to be yourself, great. But you should also be ready to uh, improve yourself because you cannot be stupid all the time. So you have to improve yourself. And this new tag of I want to be myself, and I think that I want to be, I want to be that, that I, I, I mm -hmm. of everything mm -hmm. is what the root cause of many of the problems. Mm -hmm. I know you want to be happy and nobody is taking away your happiness. Right. But you should also know that the human nature is to be happy by being together with the people. So you should be disconnected from within, not from outside. Like I say, it's not just that you go to a, some Amazon forest for a trekking and you are happy, then when you come back here, if you are not happy, then it's not a problem of Amazon forest or uh, this place. <laughs> it's a problem with you that you are not able to connect with the people and yeah. stay with the thing. There is something problem with you only. Yeah. They say, no, 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 Amazon forest is amazing because I had, I, I had spent a good time with the animals because I was happy there. So if you can be with the animals, why are you not being with the human? That means there is a problem, you shouldn't live there only. So <laughs> why I am saying this, that the current generation is like like we had a big controversial movie which is up making waves in terms of drug mm -hmm. and uh, we are a, we are a highly addicted country and close to 20 30 percent of the indian population is under depression mm -hmm. you know why we have fastly defined the idea of success mm. so in in depression so that's why to the to the youngsters largely that please don't see that the material success is all that you need mm -hmm. so it's not that and uh, it's not that you should not uh, look for it, so you should up, try for it. But same time, you should also know that life is beyond what you see. Right. So it's much beyond your uh, pity. Uh, this one talks, and uh, somebody I, I really laugh at somebody. Like I laugh at them. I feel sad for somebody who's saying, "Oh, there's a breakup happened. They committed suicide." Mm. Like. Are you, have you gone nuts at 25, 26, you get a breakup and you commit suicide? It's so, I think, like I, think, I think that's where the depression, that's where the misguided uh, population right. and the, this generation has to change. Mm -hmm. And today, I was just telling somebody that if I say I'm religious, they'll be like, you're an outdated guy. Like they don't even know what dharma is. Mm -hmm. There's an idea of dharma. Mm. We're all like it's not that because I'm religious or oh, you're an outdated guy it's 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 uh, put in a way that if you are talking about uh, being a hippie if you are talking about being a thing you are a newer generation guy mm -hmm. no it's all a false propaganda I right. can be religious I can be uh, following my dharma like uh, somebody was telling me that how can uh, Gandhi one of the greatest uh, personality lived in India uh -huh. who is slowly becoming outdated you know why? Because we are not presenting Gandhi to the newer generation. Mm. So people think, oh, I'm not a Gandhi, a Gandhi class. So Gandhi is one of the greatest personality. And Gandhi is an idea, he's just not a person. Correct. So his idea of sustainable living, mm -hmm. his idea of, uh, some of his uh, words are maybe top, uh, topical or which is uh, uh, probably true in the uh, in 19th era. Like era. In that time. But idea of Gandhi, as a Absolutely. be the change you want to see True. and it it exists it's going to exist see, that I, were that I have, statement is at this point i have to interrupt you and say that the when it comes to gandhi uh, especially in north america when i go to uh, most of these conferences even like the motivational gurus most of them quote gandhi yeah. and gandhi statue is one of the largest number of statues you can find all over the world i'm Correct. so proud about that so now it uh, if i uh, if uh, tell me which, how many youngsters talk about gandhi how many texts you know that Gandhi's ideas are like be the change and sustainable living and all these things are Gandhi's ideated a long back. And this uh, Ahimsa. Ah, ahimsa. Known for that. So the yeah. all these things ideated long back. But that only one problem idea could be the solution <coughs> for the terrorism in the world right now. See ahimsa, the thing. Yeah. The thing is that you have to 
present him into the newer generation right. with the newer uh, ways and uh, current the generation which is mine so like i am in my 20s correct mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. generation of mine we all are are in a rat race we are finding i don't know where we are running so i hope i am i'm very proud that i am not in that race no, not so that i am i'm not in a competition with anybody okay. and i'm an, i'm in a no competing zone mm-hmm. so where uh, i think there's no competition to doing good and i would like to put myself in a no competing zone and find my um, life mission and the purpose there and instead of putting in a competing zone at the end of the day you realize that so like there is an interesting thing that uh, i would like to narrate this and end the yeah. whole thing uh-huh. that uh, there was a big scholar uh, came to akbar's uh, uh, court, court okay. and uh, akbar wanted to humiliate him because he is from some other country uh-huh. so akbar said uh, he gave him a hand fan in uh, and told that scholar that find a person who is more foolish than you and give it to that guy okay uh-huh. so the scholar who was very confident about his own thing so he said that okay i'll find some day and i'll give it to him and uh, after so many years akbar was on a deathbed and uh, it's all a maybe a build up story whatever made it is so made up story and uh, akbar was on a deathbed and that scholar came and he asked him what happened akbar he said uh, i'm i'm going i'm done with my life oh really where are you going no i'm going on a long journey so i'm done with this life oh long journey so ha- are you prepared for the journey so akbar uh, says no i am not oh you are not so did you know that this day will come and you have to prepare he said yeah i knew i knew about it but i could not prepare uh-huh. then he gives the back that hand fan to akbar hand and said you are the more foolish person i found in spite of knowing that you have to do a long <laughs> journey you have not prepared exactly. so we say that we actually uh, talk about alexander the great as great as uh, the greatest warrior right like uh-huh. alexander the great but alexander became the great because of his final words which says that Uh, how he uh, taught people uh, idea of detachment mm-hmm. idea of the wealth he, which he is not going to carry Correct. so he he spoke about all those things and how he said to the people that bury me with the hands up so that everybody knows that i am going with the uh, empty, empty hand, hand. and uh, make sure that the four best surgeons in the world will carry my uh, mortal remains uh-huh. so that i want to tell the whole world that the best of the best such physicians in the world will, cannot save you doctors in the world cannot save you and then uh, the path uh, uh, to the graveyard should be paved with the diamonds so that whatever i earned so it's just that value of that so those are the words which made alexander the great not just about his uh war uh, techniques yeah. or something so we remember him for that so i think the my message to the uh, generation which i call myself as i'm just a student and i don't have a i'm not in a position to uh, give you a great gyan and neither i am in a position to give you a blessing <laughs> so mm-hmm. all that i can say you that i'm one among you mm-hmm. i'm in my 20s and uh, find a purpose in life beyond uh, material and uh, go towards uh, greatness mm-hmm. so say next time you want to be great not just happy mm-hmm. and uh, make sure that uh, you are you you follow certain uh, ideals and uh, live with the uh, certain morality certain ideals mm-hmm. it's tough i know the world is uh, tough and don't blame because universe is fair to everybody and you just have to have a good faith in it and uh, walk towards the light and god bless all so all that i can say at the end is that uh, so be great mm-hmm. and uh, then also be happy that's mm-hmm. fine that's that's no, nothing wrong in it be happy right. be great and uh, become make your parents proud and uh, whether you believe in god don't believe in god that doesn't matter so right. parallel lines lead to or oh, same destination what we call it as mm-hmm. and uh, you can go march towards it but be inquisitive mm-hmm. uh, be genuine in your seeking be genuine in whatever you are doing and uh, don't lead the life of life with the competition mm. so build your own non competing zone and uh, move towards the higher uh, aspect of life and uh, realize yourself so have a wonderful uh, great life you have a very short life in this life span 
and uh, make sure that uh, you live it to the fullest extent and uh, fullest, fullest extent does not mean that you harm somebody or you exactly. take away resources of others and uh, greed and fear these are the two things keep yourself away and i know the whole world is working on working and everybody is making their business or making their propaganda with just two things greed and the fear so let's keep from away and uh, love more and uh, there's nothing beyond uh, uh, love of a fellow human being and uh, love of the god which i believe so just uh, keep loving keep having a great time and uh, nice talking to you and uh, yeah, it was great thanks for to have you share your perspectives and insights and your uh, piece of advice uh, with all of us here and if some of the viewers have any questions about your activities or what you do or want to know know more about you like where do they go they go to your so they just check i i am actually not so active on the social media now i have a facebook account which is anil shetty 87 okay so that's my id anil shetty 87 a n i l s h e t t y 87 Mm-hmm. so they can add me they can follow and uh, this one right. and uh, if you really want to connect don't worry you just say you want to connect and you <laughs> will get connected because uh, i strongly believe in the idea of universal collect mm-hmm. and i never printed a visiting card in life wow, so it. it's oh, never ever and i believe that you want to meet people you will end up meet people but you should have that much of faith exactly. so world runs on a faith i eat whatever my mother or anybody gives me in any hotel thinking that they have given me the best food mm-hmm. i will never suspect that it is going to be a fi- poison but that situation might have occurred many a times mm-hmm. but you will live with the faith the whole world has to run on a faith right. and don't break others faith others trust and don't question others faith and don't break others trust. others trust and if they are wrong only question them when they are when their faith is harming somebody right if not don't force your faith on others absolutely there's yeah. a prop- there's a fine line between the propagation and the force Mm. I can always tell you that Bhagavad Gita is a great book. Correct. It's in your decision, in your own uh, view point, how you look at it is what matters. Absolutely. So I cannot force anybody to do anything. So Correct. propagation of the force is a fine line. Don't cross that line. Love and the force is a fine line. So make sure that you don't force yourself onto others and respect each one individuals. Treat others as they want to be treated, not how you want to treat them or how you want to be treating yourself. and uh, respect the fellow human being respect the animals respect the nature because we live with all of them and unfortunately that we have taken their territory so and uh, you have to make sure that you also give them enough space that Absolutely. they live Absolutely. they coexist coexistence and the idea of the whole indian ethos culture mm-hmm. itself is vasudeva kutumbakam we believe the world is a family and make sure that i am very happy to talk to all your uh, viewers who my consider to be a family because the the idea of world is a family is that Absolutely. this all of them are a family mm. that's why i would like to address all of them as my dear brothers and sisters mm-hmm. so it's indeed a pleasure to talk to all of you and hope to connect with some of you and uh, thanks for the opportunity and uh, would like to see more and more people talking about it and more and more people get inspired and we will have more people sitting in this chair and uh, inspiring the million more people there thank you absolutely thank you thank so you much uh, anil for thank showing up on the stardom show there we are again on the stardom show with anil shetty from bengaluru in india hope you enjoyed the show and if you have any questions or you want to uh, reach anil you can put your questions below this video and i will personally take those questions back to anil and try to get those answers for you thank you very much